day five. And... Final day. Hello everybody, Skippy Gamer here. Welcome to the five days of gameplay of Dragon Quest. The last day, day five. In our oh yeah, <laughs> I was using the keyboard. Um, yesterday we didn't really know what to do. And it's lagging, apparently. Um, last time we tried to go around the world to try to figure out where to go next, but I constantly died. But... Th but today I saw a comment from GoodGus30, and... He didn't mention something, but I also asked him, where should I go next? Well, he didn't know. He told me to look at a guide. So I took his advice. I looked on YouTube, and two YouTube users didn't really help. And I went to a YouTube channel called World of Long Plays, and I got my help from there. Or from what I could, could gather. So I know where to go next. It's near the place with the thorns. The, the spot where I was walking on, and I got damage on. Yeah, we need to go to that spot. And that means... <laughs> Yeah, such as the magician's gonna come. But maybe we'll get lucky and we'll just only run run into these things all the way. Oh my king, that'll never happen. So yeah, I didn't want this whole thing to just be about me just getting just just dying and not knowing what to do. So yeah, I guess it was good advice. Thank you, good guess. Oh, and thank you, World of Long Plays. I should try to leave a link to their channel in the description for that video. No, I didn't ask them if they had video of it or anything. I just looked and I ran into it. Ow. Oh, there was something I did see on their long play. I, I should try to show that. If I die, I may show you. like the RPGs nowadays where there's times where you could, like, auto-heal between battles. You like those days? I love them, too. Or even during battles, like Final Fantasy VII or something like that. I like those days. Yep, but it didn't begin here. Spell heal. The spell of heal. Maybe I should have gotten more equipped, like with armor and stuff, but... But it doesn't really matter, I mean, we're, this is the last day we're gonna be on this game. Officially. Ah. I hate auto fights! I hate them so much! Hey! If you're wondering what's been happening with me lately, like, behind the scenes of my channel, me and a good friend of mine have been getting together. Well, okay, family member, but I'm not gonna tell you who. <laughs> We've been playing a game that's been free on Xbox all through April. Uh, it's called... Army of Two, the... the, the Army of Two, the drug cartel? The... something like that. It's been free on Xbox... Xbox Gold for a while now. All through April. Along with Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. Xbox 360 only, so sorry Xbox One users, not for you. I'm honestly not thinking thinking of getting an Xbox One. Ah, stop with the auto spawns! Oh my gosh, I hate it. I so hate it. I just wanna I just I just, I just wanna Oh I don't know what to do. Man I have plenty of magic power. Okay, before I do anything else, I'm gonna heal my- I'm gonna heal myself. Okay, spell, heal. The spell of heal. Can you do more? I wish I had more health. Over the bridge. Oh, come on! On the bridge?!
Ah. Come on. So what's gonna be the next game of five days of gameplay after this this game? You may be asking. Well, the next game in five days of gameplay is gonna be the last request out of the three requests I've been taking. Which is okay. I might I could tell you then, but I could tell you now. It's the original Super Mario Brothers for the NES. So yeah, that'll be the next one. However, as of the next episode, I'm not really sure. The next video, I don't know. I may do it, or I may try some games like the Quantum Gaming or something. And oh no, not that. Heal. Like I said, I may try some games or just some random video of me trying this control hour. Or maybe I'll just try out behind the scenes. There's a lot of games like Mario 64, Perfect Dark, uh, just stuff that's better used with a controller that I can use this with. It's, it's my new ga game pad that I got for my birthday. My birthday is April 14th. And, and yeah, I'm 18 right now. But yeah, it's, it works very good. It, it works very good. And I'm glad I got it. Okay, I have no... I have no spells. Okay, I'm gonna keep fighting. Okay, basically what I saw in the long play, on what I have to do next is to keep going up the path, and you should be seeing... Don't go in the desert area, but you should, should be seeing... A town. Go to it. That's all I know. That's how far I wanted to go. That town below me, like through thorns and stuff? I really don't know. I guarantee I may have to go back there, it could be a dungeon or something, but... I don't know. Well, maybe you have to, I mean... I don't know. And we're dead. We are dead. <sighs> okay, how many times have I died? Let me know in the comments throughout this whole week. Okay, death... Blah, 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 Okay, let's go. Okay, but before we go back out or do anything else, I want to show you something I found in that video. I want to thank World of Long Plays for that little secret. A little thing I never really noticed. Until I saw it. Now, since Earthbound is the same gameplay as the Dragon Quest series, I could I could very tell, and I, I have... And I have noticed before that I may have to level up before I even continue, and I guess I was a bit lucky I even got through the first dungeon. I guess you could say. So, don't do what I did. Try leveling up. I saw the War of Long Plays do it, but... I'm telling you to do the same. It's boring. I know grinding is always a boring thing to do in RPGs, but... But hey, that's their nature. A lot of them are. Okay, now for the secret. You go in here. Nothing. You go here more. You're underground. No, it's a secret underground. I never even thought of it. Welcome. Deal in tools. What can I do for thee? And here is an item shop. This is an item shop. And I... <laughs> so this is the item shop. Maybe that wasn't a secret door. Maybe it was like a front door, but the developers didn't really design it that good. They didn't really design it that good. All they had was like a dead end and no clear way to get in. I don't know, that, that, that's false programming or design. It can make anyone skip it. Not enough money. Wait. Oh, I have 14. Oh, I have 20 gold. Um. Okay, I'm gonna get some gold and get some herb. Or just one piece of herb. Even though I have magic, I still need some more stuff. So, I'm gonna go back out there again. Alright. So, I'm gonna be getting some gold. Once I have enough or more, I'll be getting some herb. Or at least one piece. Then I'll be going back out and trying going there again. But like I told you before, before I died, I told you how why I saw the long plan where what what you have to do. So go ahead and do it. I just hope it isn't really a waste of time. Gold by one. No surprise. I like the gold we began with on the way there where we died on. It was like I got three gold in one of the ghost fights. So yeah, thank goodness as the fights get harder, you do get more gold and stuff. So at least that's good. Well, that's good. At least, ah, never mind. 
Now, if you want some opinions of mine, right now, before the review, here's one. Graphics-wise... I'm not really sure now. There is some detail to them, but some of them I'm not really a fan of. Like, I'm not the- I'm not a big fan of the main character's artwork. I mean, granted, this is the normal NES. This is before the SNES even came to be, so I shouldn't blame it, but... Just for my taste, I don't really like it. Even some of the graphics here. Admittedly, there is some good detail, like those rock mountains up there above me. Above us. Those are good design. Here's one suggestion. The trees are shaped like fish. Anyways. And they couldn't get rid of the black backgrounds for... For the... For the castle. I have Game Maker from yoyogames.com, so... I guess I'm thinking thinking in that terms. Yeah. So, yeah. But hey, these are the early days of gaming, before they came to the... Stay the art things we know today. Stay the art. Every time we advance to every new stage of electronics, I'm I'm going off topic right now. But every time we advance to every new electronic thing, like right now, there's this new flying drone thing that could aim the camera right at you or a specific spot at p p precise angle in the sky, which is kind of cool actually. I mean, if I want to make a vlog video or something, I can have that thing like fly around or just make some move or you know something like that. Things like that are stay the art. But years from now, we're gonna... We're gonna understand how it works in our science, in our minds, very easily. And it'll be just... Just child's play. I mean, look at this! Back then, this was one of the revolutionary things. I mean, an NES? A console? At home? Revolutionary back in the day. Tell... Talk to anyone. And talk to anyone back then. Talk to your dad. Talk to your mom. Talk to your... Friend's dad. I don't know. Talk to who? They'll tell you. It was it was revolutionary, including the SNES. Though it wasn't HD, it was awe-inspiring to many millions and millions of people. And some of those awe-inspirings actually got some people to make games that we know today, like... Like, for instance, I learned this from Balrog. Again, same video, and ooh, I leveled up to level 5! Okay. The main creator of Earthbound got the idea to make Earthbound from the Dragon Quest series. Like I said, you should see it. <laughs> Man, how far we come in games. Speaking of which, who's who can't in the comments, let me know who can't wait for Final Fantasy 15. Even if you have the console or not. <laughs> Man, what a long time coming for that game to come out. I actually didn't know how long the, uh, the development of the project took until, like, maybe this year or last year or something. There's a video, I forget who it's by, I might as well leave a link in the description to get you to that video, which has this person have a complete retrospective on the whole development of Final Fantasy XV from its very beginning, from its very beginning. Okay, my computer is acting weird. Okay, I'm gonna pause for one moment. One moment! Alright, I think we're good. Okay. Like I said, it's a retrospective, and I recommend you seeing it. I mean, man, the struggle everyone went through to make the game Final Fantasy XV, which is closely coming out. By the time I record this, I have no confirmation or anything that confirms the release date for it, but... When that day comes, I'll guarantee you a lot of people on the internet's gonna be like, FINALLY THE DAY HAS COME, and all that sort of stuff, in many ways. <laughs> you prob you're probably gonna be one of them. But hey, it's a good thing I mentioned it, and besides, it's made this game's made by the same creators of Final Fantasy. Square. Square Enix. Back then, back in this day, they were called Square Soft, now they're called Square Enix. I like Final Fantasy, and Kingdom, Kingdom Hearts. I can't wait to see the third one, too. I don't have any consoles to play it on, but... I guess... Just to see how the story progresses. Pro progresses. Um, okay, I haven't really been paying attention. How much gold? I have 35 gold. Okay. Okay, run. I haven't really been paying attention. I've been caught up in the conversation. With all that stuff to talk about, we got... Way enough gold to buy... 
Okay, we still don't have enough for two, but we have enough for one. And you know what? That's good enough. Let's go in. Shopkeeper? Design a better door to not make it look like a wall. Thank you. Okay, tools. Herb. The herb? Thank you very much. Doesn't thou want anything else? Yes, stop speaking like Shakespeare. Okay, now I have 11 gold. I will be waiting for thy next visit. I'm gonna kill these guys. Bite, bite your tongues. Alright, I'm gonna save it right here. Now you may be wondering, will I be doing the other Dragon Warrior games, or even the Dragon Quest, like which everyone's other console's been on? I'm sure it's been on the Game Boy Advance. Honestly, I'm not really sure. At the moment, no, but who knows I might. Alright, let's be off. Out of my way. I hate auto fights. Right. But as you may guess, going back to some of the subjects, um, yes, I, if I get PlayStation 4, me and my family are thinking of it, <laughs> not, it won't be today we, that we'll get or anything, but, you know, it's maybe one day, once we get to the right... Well, I guess this is one of the games where where some of the enemies will be cowardly to face me and run away. Even the iconic blue slime. Haha, <laughs> no battles! Wow, everybody's afraid of me. Haha! <laughs> I'm the Dragon Warrior! You keep away! You too, ghost! I'll use my shout on you! Okay, no! Now that's his attack. Like I said, you kids aren't old enough to know Skyrim yet, but trust me, when you get old enough, you'll have the best time of your life. Oh! Run away! Urgh. I thought that red slime would run away like the little bluey. <laughs> Looks like little blue went back and said, Mama, or big brother, he he scared me. Okay, I'll get, take care of him. <laughs> well, I took care of him. Wonder where the blue slime is. Well, now he's now he's angry. He's turned red. <laughs> okay, I'm just making stuff up at this point. And the blue that turned red is dead. No, it didn't turn red. But <laughs> all right, now we go up here. No battles will take place. Will there game? Will there? It just loves to. It just loves to make me angry. I like swearing. Okay. Ah, no spells! No spells! Please! Okay, spell. Heal. Badity badity boom! Yeah, I seen Cinderella. Hey, I was young then. Oh my gosh! Okay, heal again! Heal, heal, heal! Wow, 30 health. Oh, 25 health. Attack it, attack it, attack it! Come on, come on, come on! By four. Oh, come on, how much health is this thing? Okay, I hate this thing, I hate this thing, I hate this thing! This little pinky! Well, we have a fighting chance- Oh yeah, the herb! The herb! The, the item, the item I got! Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, no! Come on, kill it, kill it, kill it! If I don't kill it by then, I'll run. Oh, oh no, not the spell! Okay, run! Oh, it worked! Oh my gosh, oh, what a narrow escape. Okay, that's so Three Stooges style, narrow escape. Um, oh no! Ah, Scorpion. Okay, this game's actually mad at me, I'll bet. I promise it won't come back, just let me win! I may come back, but don't tell the game. 
Uh, what to do? What to do? I have no items. I guess I could have paused and got some more money. Got two herb, or three, or four, or five, or one hundred. I don't know. Okay, one hundred. Take all day to get. Uh, oh boy, I got to twenty minutes. Uh, what to do? Oh, I gotta try and run. I'm sorry. I have no magic left. I have eighteen health. I have no chance. Come on, no battles, no battles, no battles, no battles, no battles, no battles, no battles. No battles. Oh, hallelujah, we made it! <laughs> oh, yeah! Oh, Lily, thank you, Lord! <laughs> hey, Gandalf! This is the village of Kui? Gazuntai. Alright, um. I don't want to touch the trees because I'm assuming they're walls. Oh, I guess I'm not. Okay, let's talk to the villagers, and once we're done with the village, I may, might as well stop the video here. Please, save us from the minions of the Dragon Lord. I will! Just stop asking! Crying out loud. Dreadful is the South Island. Great strength, and skies, and wit, and skill, and wit only will, will bring thee back from that place. It sounds like you talk about bringing the Dragon Lord back from his place. Oh, never mind. Gollum is after the mu music of the flute. Uh, so to say. So yeah, I guess that'll be like our the. I'm guessing this flute, this Gollum thing, is whatever this whatever that guard said. I guess that'll be our main quest: trying to protect the flute or get it back or something. Um, let's see. Do I want to do anything else here? I'll observe the town for you. Just see what you're getting into. Uh, let's see. Can I? No, I cannot. Um. Wow. What a village. All just trees. Like, everything is outside. Um, door, can I enter? You have no key. Hmm, interesting. Well, you got an overview of what you could do next. So after you get the first tablet, as we did in day three, you could come here. Then, after that, well, you're on your own. And through a guide, maybe. Thank you, good guess, for mentioning that. Um, alright, that... I guess we could stop it here, here. So, yeah, this is a good place to stop. I mean, I made it. Okay, running leave, but you know what? I was gonna die. Um, how much is the armor? Mamma mia! No! Oh my gosh! Makes you want to grind more and more and more and more. Oh! Every new town you get to, it increases. By the hundreds. By the thousands. Look at that! Full plate. Three thousand. Next thing you know, there'll be 5,000. Then there'll be 7,000. Then there'll be 1 million! How do people survive this game? I feel for you, everybody. Everyone who survived this game, I feel for you. I feel for you. I feel for you. <laughs> Anyways! Please come again. I don't know if I will be coming, coming again. Alright, so... Yep. I guess we'll end our 5 days of gameplay here. Um, before I get to the closing part, I want to know how much the inn is, and I'm gonna hate myself for asking. Welcome to the Travels Inn. $20. Okay, that's good. But it's still increased, I think. So each time we get to, the prices increase. Which, I guess is a good advice to keep grinding a lot. I hate grinding. Alright, well... Thanks for watching, everybody, and thank you for sticking with me through this whole week of five days of gameplay of playing this game, Dragon Warrior, the first one for the NES. So, thank you for watching, everybody. Be sure to be sure to like the video, subscribe to my channel, no swearing in the comments, tell friends and family about this channel, and I'll be seeing you guys next time. Good night. Good riddance to this game. Okay, now it was a bit fun. I'll give it. I'll give you that. It's a bit fun. Yeah, it is. Why you liked me playing it a lot? Oh, great. Well, that's encouraging. Thank you, bro. L L L L L. See everybody.